everybody, welcome to a Fairy Fox Live. It has been so long since I did one of these. I hope you guys are enjoying the little owl I put up a couple days ago. And for those of you that said that you've missed me, thank you, I've missed you too. It has been a crazy world for us at Fairy Fox Design. And we just completed a move from Kansas to Idaho. So we're in our new digs and it's going great. But I wanted the chance to talk to you guys a little bit more informally than a video. And so here we are doing a live. First of all, I want to introduce you to my amazing, beautiful two cans. I did not paint them, uh, sadly, but I did put extra paint on them. So I feel very connected to them. These guys represent for me um, a really fun little story I've been working on um, there, where there's a you can, two can. Um, and so you'll, I'm sure, see him show up every now and then. But the whole idea is that this is hard. What we do is really hard. We make it look easy, they say, but it, you know, it's, it takes a lot. It takes a lot to be a face painter. And so whenever you're in a moment where you're feeling really down about how your line work is going, or you're feeling really stressed about how we're not being able to paint, you know, or whatever it is, just remember you can, to can, you know, it kind of, it helps me a lot. Anyway, so they're gonna be in our video today um, here with us, but, more important than them today is, ta-da! Oh, and oh no, it's backwards. Maybe it's backwards, I don't know. Um, let me see if I can reverse it so that you guys can read this. Um, let's see, what does this cool button do? That's not helpful. This one. Maybe, maybe not, okay. This one will make us go dark, yep. Okay, so I will tell you what they say even though you cannot read them, hopefully next time I can fix that. But, um, all right, so you guys, what we're talking about today is we're talking about building talent. And when we look at building talent, what we're really focused on is how do we get good? You know, we really want to be able to get good at what we're doing and getting good at anything, but at face painting, getting good comes from two different directions. The first one is building our skills. Whenever we build a new skill, whether it's sponging or whether it's line work or whether it's design development, any skill that we build will help us get good. The other one is building our creativity. When we build our creativity, then all of a sudden we can think of new ways, novel ways, cool new things to try, and it's really exciting. Now for some people, building skills isn't scary and other people it's terrifying. And the same is true of creativity. For a lot of artists, one of those things will feel a little bit more comfortable. And I really hope to help all of you uh, be able to feel more comfortable with these ideas and to be able to move forward and to grow and to build. So we're gonna work on that a little bit today. But in order to understand how do we build our skills, I wanted to show you the two main ways that we do that. The first way is through inspiration. It's by finding a mentor. Now this can be something that you're actively in a relationship or it can be something that you're reading a book, so they don't even know who you are, but you know, they got your royalties, yay them, <laughs> you know, or whatever. Or it can be something as simple as nature. You know, you can go out and you can find inspiration in the sunshine, in a rainbow, in a tree, but you want to look outside of yourself. If we are only painting from what's inside, number one, we'll probably run out, <laughs> right? There will be times when we don't have what we need um, or we just will be limited because our own scope of this world is only so much. But if we look outside of ourselves, there's like billions of other people that we can be influenced by and we can collaborate with and we will get good if we allow other people to come inside. That can be really intimidating, but being inspired and not intimidated is so important. We're going to talk a lot about that here in the live tonight. The next one is practicing. Now for most people when they say, wow, how did you get so good? They will say, practice. You know, the top three things you have to do, practice, practice, practice. Yes, we've all heard it a million times, but hopefully um, through different videos, I've got a really fun way to practice coming up here on YouTube. Uh, there should be a video coming out soon uh, that will show you one of my favorite ways to practice. So then we look at creativity. Where does creativity come from? Often people will say, did you go to school, which is mentor and practice, or were you naturally given this? And that's kind of how we see it. We see the work, which is mentor practice, or we see the gift, which is creativity. Creativity is definitely something 
that some people have an easier time accessing inside of themselves than other people. Um, but everybody has it. It is not something that is limited to anyone. Um, the more you exercise your creativity, it's just like the muscle, the stronger it will get. And exercising creativity is one of the world's most fun, joyful experiences, I promise you. Giving creativity room to grow is amazing. So let's take a quick look at how we make creativity grow. If we go inside, we can see that creativity comes from two places as well. The first one is play. When we play, our creativity muscle grows. This is something where there are no strings attached. We're not trying to make anything in particular happen. We're just having fun. And playing with face paint, it doesn't get very much more fun than that. So trying unique color combinations, trying, um, just painting the face a solid color is amazing. I absolutely love it. Um, it is so much fun to play with face paint. Don't feel like you have to do it in any certain way. If you give yourself a block of time, you say, I'm gonna play. It's so much fun to play with other people. So get somebody else and you're like, okay, you play for an hour, I'll play for an hour, and we'll show each other pictures. And it can be really, really fun. So what play looks like, is it something that you're just letting yourself go? There's no stress and you build on itself. So when you're playing make-believe, if you did this as a kid, you start with kind of the idea, and then once you're in that space, you build on the idea, and something else will occur to you, and then something else will occur to you, and all of a sudden, you'll be doing a fairy unicorn um, with a best friend rhinoceros, and they're playing hopscotch, and you know, just crazy stories will come out, or even really like dramatic, okay, what would happen if we tried to do a really funky, hot pink, but very masculine design? I don't know, but that sounds fun, right? So make time for play. The other thing that will help you get good, and I promise this is true, is sharing your work. Now as a face painter, we are some of the only artists out there that is very hard not to share. <laughs> there are very few face painters that only paint their own face and don't show anyone. Like, I don't know if there's anybody like that. Maybe you guys have heard of them. I don't, I sure have it. Um, and so when we share our work on the job, that's where the joy is, right? That's where the magic is, those big reveal moments. But right now, I don't know about you, but I haven't really been able to work like I'm used to for six months. And that's a long time. And that can feel really stifling, especially if you're new to the industry and you haven't had that experience of sharing your face painting every day or every week or even every month this is a really important part of getting good at something. So make sure you make room to share. So how do we share right now? Well, you certainly can hop on to Facebook or onto Instagram or any of those social media platforms. I've got a group called Learning with Lara. You're welcome to request to join. And what we do there is we share. We share things from classes we're doing together. We share things from our life. We share, but when you share your face paint, just in the same way that you open yourself to outside influences, when you share what you have done, you are also opening yourself. And anytime somebody says, oh my gosh, I love that, thank you, you're helping them, you're inspiring them, you're becoming a mentor, which is way cool, but you're also opening yourself to have new experiences and ideas because somebody might say, what brush did you use? And you realize, Oh my gosh, I used a different brush than I normally do. I wonder what would happen. You know, you'll notice things about your own work when you put them out there. You'll critique yourself in new ways. You'll make it a little bit more intense. Like it's scary. Trust me, I get scared. You guys, putting your stuff out there is scary because what if somebody says something mean? What if somebody doesn't like it? What if nobody comments? Oh my gosh, anytime I put up a video, you better believe I care how many people watch it. Now, would I make a video for one person? You better believe I would. You know, don't at all feel like you're just one of the numbers. No, I care about you guys. But, you know, the more people that watch it, the more that makes me feel like, oh, I'm making a difference. People like it, you know, so it's awesome to share your work. Now, if you're looking for opportunities to share, ask questions. Ask each other and be like, what are you doing right now? I know that I have certainly been painting other things. <laughs> And face paint goes really great on paper. I know um, that Silly Farm hosted a really awesome card challenge uh, last month where people were painting cards and mailing them to each other. So there are some really neat ways to share if you open yourself to that.
Okay, so as I'm sorry, everything's backwards. I will figure that out before I do another live with amazing props that don't even work. Um, but when we look at building talent and we look at getting good, how do we get good? Well, we build our skills and we build our creativity. We do that through mentoring, practice, play, and sharing. So this, the big part about this live that I really am excited to share with you guys tonight is I wanna talk about inspiration. Where does our inspiration come from in the face painting industry? So I've had a lot of opportunities. One of the things that COVID has given me is a summer without work, <laughs> which is really hard. I am sure we could all cry a river. Um, I know I'm smiling, but inside I'm not happy while I say these things. Uh, it is really hard to not be working. So we're looking for novel experiences and opportunities. And some of those for me have come through as the chance to mentor. So I have loved doing one-on-one -on -one Zoom classes. I have loved doing a whole bunch online on Facebook and different things and, and having a really good time, that's awesome. But if we are looking for where can we be mentored, I know that there's a lot out there and I know that it can be intimidating. And so I wanted to give you guys a look at some of what I think are the best ways. I'm gonna show you what they say and then I'm gonna tell you what I think. So you're getting like two for one. Um, so again, this will all be backwards and I'm sorry about that, but um, we'll go for it anyway. These are seven of the amazing things that are available online to help you learn to be a better face painter. So we're going to start with YouTube since we're all on YouTube together right now anyway. And we're going to talk about what YouTube is for as a face painter. So YouTube itself says, enjoy the videos and music you love. Do you love face painting videos? Absolutely. YouTube. Okay. So upload original content, which you can do, but that's what I'm trying to do for you. So there we go. And share it with all your friends. You better believe that you guys are my friends, um, family, and the world on YouTube. So this is a place where you can find the videos and the music you love. Through the comment sections and through sharing, there is an opportunity to connect with the creator, which is awesome. But you are your own chariot driver, okay? <laughs> if you want YouTube to be your source for learning, you better believe that you need to be ready to watch a lot of great videos and then to watch some that I know I've got some on my channel that I made a really long time ago. And it's like, should I delete that? You know, like there's a lot on YouTube. Plus, you know, unless you have a subscription, which you can totally subscribe, um, there are a lot of ads and that can, you know, for the first few, I don't really mind. And then I'm like, okay, I'm kind of done with this. So YouTube is a great place to start. It's where a lot of us started. It's where a lot of us still are. And that's awesome. But know that there is more than YouTube. And so I'm really excited to introduce to you guys tonight some of those other options. So let's take a look at what else I have on the board. Faba TV. It's all in the name. Face and body art television. They picked a name that like tells you what it is. And that really is what they're trying to do. They're trying to make amazing things and they totally do. So fabatv.com is your online face and body art classroom for hour long workshops in full HD taught by international artists, body painting, face painting, henna, prosthetics, airbrushing, and much more. And that's what I would say about, Fab about Faba TV is it is much more. So if you are looking to really grow and ground yourself and do the roots and you wanna go and just immerse yourself in the world and the industry, Faba TV is an awesome choice. It is fantastic. The hours are great because you can go through a class. If you find one you love by an instructor, they have it organized by channel. So you can go through and you can be like, okay, I love this teacher. I want to watch all their classes. Um, they've got some great different holiday things on there. It's really, really an awesome platform where you can connect not only with face painting, but if you are a face painter, you're like, I've always wanted to learn balloons. They do that. If you're like, I've always wanted to learn henna, they do that, you know? And so there are amazing opportunities. They have their own YouTube channel. So if you wanna check out like, what is this all about? They do a really good job of trying to give you the chance to interact with them before it's like, oh, you now need to buy a lifetime membership or something. So this can be a great thing to do a periodic month here and there. They do six month subscriptions, year subscriptions. Faba TV is a great choice but there are a lot of other choices. So let's look at what else is out there. This is one you've probably heard me talk about before, and this is Skillshare. So let's take a look at what Skillshare says about themselves. They say, explore your creativity. So remember, you know, mentor, practice, creativity, all of that. Yeah, of course, I love it. Okay, explore your creativity. 
join Skillshare to watch, play, play, learn, make, and discover. Skillshare is an amazing platform. I absolutely love it. I can't tell you how much I have learned from Skillshare and it makes such a big difference to me. I teach, okay, so you can find me on all of these platforms. Um, I've had the chance to interact both as an instructor and a student on all of them. And I can tell you that there are real people behind every platform and they care about your learning. So as you are looking to reach out, I would highly recommend any of these opportunities. But we're talking about Skillshare, so I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about there. There is not as much face painting on Skillshare, but if you want a little bit more face paint, but you also want to dabble in all kinds of things, Skillshare totally is amazing. They really have a platform where you connect to teachers. You, you can watch their class and then you can do whatever project they're teaching and upload it and get feedback on your project. I have learned about business. I have learned about marketing and that's kind of businessy, I know, um, but I've learned hand lettering that I've been able to put into my business during this time that COVID is kind of keeping us all away from other people. I've started drawing on walls. I mean, we do what we can, but Skillshare is a great place if you want to stretch your wings. And they are a great place as well to do all kinds of like, hey, I wanna try this, I wanna try that. Um, and, and then, you know, see if you like it. And if you like it, then you can invest more in it. Um, but it's a really great sample way to do it. And they have all kinds of try it for a week kind of opportunities. Um, eventually, hopefully tomorrow, I will have links for you guys on all of these different um, places. So you can come back to the recorded version and, and check any of them out. Some of them will throw me a little bone, but don't even worry about that. Just know that this information is awesome because Skillshare, highly recommend that. Let's see what else we've got up here. Okay. Gotta love tape. Okay, so the International Face Paint School, facebodyart.com. Let's take a look. The International Face Paint School teaches and certifies students through innovative online face paint course. Learn to paint like a pro today. All right, here's what I will say about the International Face Paint School. I can tell you, if you need accountability, you aren't gonna get it on any of the platforms we've talked about so far. On Skillshare, you've got to be self-driven. On Faba TV, you need to be self-driven. On YouTube, you need to be self You know, all of those things, they get amazing information together and then they make it as easy as they can for you to access, but you have to access it. At the International Face Paint School, you are not alone. You have mentors and teachers that are there. They have a program, like it is a school. You graduate and you get all of those accolades. So if it's something that you want to certify in face painting, you want to have teachers and you want to feel like you're totally connected to that, this is the platform for you. So it's awesome. It's amazing. I love the content that they have up there and they do some really cool um, programming as well so that if you don't want to do the full school but you want to take part in one of their summits or they've got a really neat Halloween thing coming out, um, this can be a really great way to connect with some of those instructors. So absolutely recommend them. And oh, I know how nice it is when there's somebody that's like, oh, where are you? Like, where are you, you know? And so accountability is huge. So some of you may not be familiar with this. This is a newer one. These are the Smile Creators. So this is a group. Well, first of all, I'll tell you what they say about themselves. Smile Creators, the online learning platform for on-the-job face painting, a continuously growing searchable database filled with photo and video tutorials. So this is a new group and it is really awesome. One of the things that sets this apart um, from all of the other platforms we've talked about except for Skillshare is the videos that are made by this platform are made by all the individual artists. And so when you are on there, you are connecting more and getting to know more of those individual artists. And it is kind of like a collaborative uh, platform in really special ways. It creates um, a really exciting diversity and vitality to the platform. I also really like the way that this um, is different on all of the other platforms we've talked about. They are going to teach you how to paint and they are going to go through technique and it's all going to be very heavy uh, not heavy, but like um, wonderful if that's what you're looking for. 
if you feel pretty confident in your skills and you want to learn here and there, sure, but what you're looking for is building your repertoire. If you want to learn, okay, I have my 10 designs or I have my 20 designs that I know, but you're like, I really want to have 200 designs. Smile Creators is awesome because all artists, okay, don't feel like there is a face painter out there that can be like, oh, you can learn everything from me because you certainly can't. Every artist has what makes them amazing. And there are um, over 20 artists or there will be, anyway, okay, don't quote me on numbers because numbers always change and then I feel like I don't know what I'm talking about. But um, this is an amazing platform because you get to know what that artist is amazing at, what that artist is amazing at. And the uh, collaborators on this platform are really good at talking to each other and being like, I love the way you do this. Would you, you know, showcase that? Uh, for us. And so you get to build your repertoire and you get to say, okay, I feel good on boy designs, but my teenage designs are awful. And so, or I really want to learn more animals. And instead of um, being stuck in a group, you know, where you're learning how to sponge and you're like, ah, I already know how to sponge. I want to learn designs. This is where you learn designs. And it's really awesome. Okay. So smile creators, highly recommend them. Can you tell that I love all of these? I totally do because you guys Opening yourself up to inspiration is one of the quickest ways to have your mind be blown. When I was first starting face painting, um, I did it because I wanted to. You know, it was not something external. It was very internal. I wanted to face paint. And so I got my Snazaru kit and I was face painting and it was so fun. And then I went to an Applebee's where there was a professional face painter and like huge eyes, jaw drop. You know, I was the person hovering on the edge being like, what is she doing now? That, that looks really cool. <laughs> anyway, and so definitely open yourselves up to those opportunities um, to be inspired. Okay, we'll keep going. We've got two left. So facepaint.com. Um, this is a really nice option. And well, okay, first of all, let's read what they say. So generally every Monday, Facepaint.com puts on free webinars on Zoom slash Facebook Live with some amazing face painting artists from around the globe. Here's a little hint or tip. Sometimes they also do discount codes, which can be really nice because if you want to try some new products, um, it's really nice to be able to have a discount. It's terrible, but it really is. Okay, so um, why is this a great option? Well, first of all, I will tell you, it is amazing the different instructors that they have coming on there and doing the hour long webinar. It's really fun. The live um, environment is, is something I really enjoy because you get to see it in real time. It's not something where it's like, oh, and that took three minutes and you're like, I'll never be that good. <laughs> it's, you, you, you'll get, you can, you can, yes, you can. Um, but anyway, so I love the live aspect of this. The other thing about this option that's really nice is the fact that it's free. Um, one of the reasons that they're able to do that um, is through the generosity of this amazing platform. And then also because it is a business that would like you to buy your products from them. So they're able to use that kind of as their marketing budget, um, which is so cool. And I love that. But um, if you look at all the options we've talked about today, some are more affordable, some are a little bit less affordable, but you get more because of what you're paying. And, and they say you get what you pay for, um, but there are some really incredible instructions on these and you can go back and watch past ones. So if you are working on a really limited budget and you're trying to save every penny you can to be able to buy paint, this is still some pretty sweet instruction that isn't six minutes on YouTube. You can go in there for a full hour, be around other face painters that are asking questions, ask your questions, and to be able to get some of that um, teacher attention. So that's awesome. Okay, so last but not least, um, I have buy me a coffee on here. Now, um, this is, well, let's see what they say. Okay, buy me a coffee is the best way for creators and artists to accept one-off support and membership from their fans. So the first thing that I would say about buy me a coffee is if you are in a position to where you are building a business of your own and not necessarily as a trainer, but as a face painter, this is a really awesome way to have a digital tip jar. Um, it's called buy me a coffee because they have it set up to where you can buy somebody 
the cost of a coffee. You can put it in as a $1 donation, a $3 donation, a $5 donation, and all of that. And so I have that set up. If you go to Fairy Fox, buy me a coffee, Fairy Fox, and again, tomorrow I'll try and get all those links available. You can buy me a coffee, which is awesome, right? Um, but one of the cool things that they do is they allow you to do extras. And so this is the platform that I have chosen in order to do my extras. And so if you love my YouTube channel and you would like to engage with me more as a face painting mentor, if you want to open yourself, flip this back around. Not that you can read it because it's backwards again, sorry. If you want to open yourself more to the mentor relationship or to the inspiration, um, buy me a coffee is how I do it. And the way that it works is you come on and you can either purchase a class, which I do instead of a one hour um, webinar, uh, I host a live class every Thursday. Um, and then what we do there is we go on topic and I teach for two hours. And then at the end of that two hours, we have a 30 minute Q&A. And so you can work through the week and work on designs and really do stuff, but we have so much fun. This is an opportunity if you like the live feeling and if you like my work and if you are interested in having the accountability of a class and you come to class and there are classmates and we get to interact with each other. We upload a lot of our designs to the Learning with Lara Facebook group um, and then whenever we finish a class, every class is recorded and it is then uploaded to a private place on YouTube to where you can go back um, if you join and you can watch all the classes that you've missed so far or if you miss a class because you've got something on Thursdays or whatever, there are plenty of people that just watch them as they're recorded. So that is what I have done. Again, you can see all seven of these options are a little bit different. And so it's really nice to be able to explain them all to you because I have people that are like, what do I do? And it's like, well, what do you want? And that's really the best thing that you can do as a face painter that's interested in more training is to ask yourself, what do I want? What do I want to get better at? Um, as always, you guys, I'm here for you. If you have questions, please shoot them my way. I will answer any questions. I'm uh, Because I'm on my own tonight, I don't have the chat enabled, but I will definitely take a look here um, if I can figure it out at the end and answer any questions that people have asked. Um, and then definitely um, once it's recorded, if you're watching this as a recording, you can put questions down in the comments and I will answer them. Yes, I am here for you. But if you can figure out what you want, you're one step closer to getting it. And so know that I believe in you guys. I believe in all of you. And I believe in face painting. It really is a special thing. Um, hang in there. If, if COVID has you down and you're missing the little kids, oh my gosh, I am missing strangers. Is that weird to say? I'm just like, ah, oh, I wanna go and talk to people again that I don't know. I really enjoy that part of face painting. And so um, we can all be together while we're apart and, and missing those very special parts of our job. Um, hang in there for sure. We will get through this. And um, I am in a more stable situation. So I'm hoping to get more YouTube videos up for you guys. Um, if there's anything in particular that you're really hoping for, I'm always open to suggestions. Uh, but do know that you're going to find a new fun way to practice coming up soon. Um, and let me just see if I can. Um, okay. Put this on. Oh, look, we've got all kinds of messages. Okay. So. Okay. Oh, she's trying to learn how to face paint. Oh my gosh, this whole thing was for her. Okay, if you guys are reading these along. Uh, B. Meyer, it looks great. Thank you. Oh, I'm so glad. And and tell me if you like the live, you guys, because I, I love live. And so um, I think I could figure it out to where we could also do some painting instruction um, in this way. Okay, so let's see. Um, thank you so much, Elizabeth, for saying hi. Hi back, absolutely. Um, this person found us on YouTube. I love when people find us and uh, come awesome. Okay, oh, and we've got some Spanish that I don't understand, but I will Google Translate later. Thank you so much. Um, Gabriella, it's so nice to see you on here too. Okay, um, oh, the props are backwards for you. <gasps> I am so happy. Okay, that is really good to know. I won't spend a whole bunch of time trying to figure that out later, okay. Great, um, and, K. 
okay. Hello, Naomi, very nice. Um, and okay, it looks like we are good. Okay, so I'm just gonna finish this up uh, really quick, you guys. It should go live, or like the recording should be up at some point. Um, so if you came in halfway through and you wanna watch the first half, uh, that, that should be available soon. But um, yes, keep painting, keep sharing, keep enjoying your creativity, and we will um, look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Have a good night.